Hey guys, before we start this video, I'm going to say that I'm going to change the uploading schedule. Instead of two videos a day, I'm going to start uploading maybe every other day, one day at most. Um, just because I want to do more in-depth videos, videos that are longer, that are more, uh, I don't know how you'd explain it with more information that I'm giving. So, I'm just gonna say that before we get into the video. So let's get into the video now. Hey guys, welcome to another video on five minute history. Today we're gonna to be talking about World War II. So let's get into it. Let's start with the First World War, where Germany was on the losing side of World War I. This caused them to pay extreme taxes to the allies that the German people could not afford to pay. The military was also made to be way smaller by Britain. Hitler did not like this because it reduced jobs and weakened Germany. Hitler saw Mussolini in Italy start a fascism party. Hitler liked the idea, so he got in power of Germany, and this is how the dictator of Adolf Hitler started. Some of the fir one of the first things Hitler did when he got into power was regain German military forces. UK and France didn't really care though. So Hitler then invaded Austria, making it a part of Germany. You still the UK and France didn't really bat an eye. So Germany took over Czechoslovakia. This time UK and France went to Hitler and told him to chill and he agreed, but he crossed his fingers during that agreement. Hitler then went to Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union at the time, and asked him if he wanted to attack Poland on both sides and split the land, and Stalin agreed. On September 1st, 1939, German troops started to invade Poland on the west. With Nazi Germany on the west and Stalin on the east, Poland didn't stand a chance and they fell. This caused France and UK to declare war on Germany. September 9th, 1939, World War II officially started. At first, it was a stalemate. N no one planned or had an invasion, but the French sent troops across the border of France. One thing, one of the first major attacks was in Norway when Germany went to occupy Norway and UK and France were already in the country but Hitler pushed them out because he was in the southern part where there was more military influence. The president at the time, Chamberlain, resigned after a, after this failure and Winston Churchill got into office. And the French and Britain were in the Netherlands and Belgium and France at the border, making sure that Germany didn't expand westward. Guess what? Germany expanded westward. Hitler said to go in a weak spot between Belgium and France, where Luxembourg is, and to circle the Netherlands and Belgium, forcing UK and France to leave, making France vulnerable. In no time, Germany had France and kept it as a Nazi puppet state. UK and Germany constantly bombed each other, their cities, mainly London and Berlin. Bombing shelters became a normal thing. Children got moved to farms where there was no bombing. The Axis powers wanted to be in total agreement, so to strengthen themselves, Germany, Italy, and Japan made up the Tripartite Act. Germany feared a southern attack, so Hitler made Hungary sign to be part of the Tripartite Act. Romania also joined because they feared a Soviet attack. Hitler needed to get to Greece, so Bulgaria also joined the act. Yugoslavia did not want to go down without a fight, so they got invaded and also joined the act. Soon enough, Greece was in Hitler's hands. From Greece, Hitler made it to North Africa to help Mussolini of Italy defend his land from the UK that occupied Egypt. Germany moved north then betrayed the Soviet Union and attacked and occupied them all the way up to Moscow. 
it, but then winter came, and Hitler did not prepare his sol- Nazi soldiers for the winter. Most of them froze, and, Ser- and Siberian soldiers took most of them out, and they pushed the Nazis almost all the way back out of Russia. In the east, Japan wanted to expand all through South Asia and Oceania, but first they needed to destroy the U.S. naval forces because Japan's navy did not compare to the states. So they bombed Pearl Harbor. This caused Franklin Roosevelt and Churchill to declare war on Japan. Hitler then declared war on USA because of the Tripartite Act. Japan did get what they want, though, and they got to control most of South Asia and most of the islands in Oceania. But back in Europe, ethnic groups that couldn't be 100% trusted by the Nazis were considered bad and a disgrace to Germany, so the Holocaust started. Concentration camps were made of mainly Jews and gypsies were put in the camps, and they were tortured and most of them died of starvation or a gas chamber. This caused many of these people to hide. A good example of this was Anne Frank, who lived, who hid in an attic for some years. In Africa, the UK and US got control of the northern part of Africa from Italy. The Allies got a plan to attack Africa to Europe from either Sicily or Greece. They wanted to attack Sicily, but the Nazis knew that. So they had to plan a trick, Hitler, and it was called Operation Mincemeat. In a quick definition, they got a corpse of Glendier Michael, who died from poisoning. They dressed him up as a made-up Captain William Martin. They gave Martin a coded message that said that Greece was the place that they wanted to attack while the army was in Sicily. The UK then dropped the body in the Mediterranean and it got washed up in Spain where the UK requested the code and the body be brought back and Spain agreed, but not before Spain showed the Nazis the code and they sent it back to Hitler. Hitler thinking he was holding very, very valuable information. He wanted to be a step ahead of the Allies. So he moved most of his army to Greece in secret, just what the Allies wanted. With Sicily clear of most of the Nazi influence, they landed on the island. And most of the Italian citizens greeted them with open arms because they didn't like Mussolini anymore and they and how he took over Italy. Up up in the northern France the Allies attacked Normandy, what most people would refer as D-Day. Britain, Canada, and the U.S. quickly got France unoccupied by the Nazis, and France was no longer a Nazi puppet state. Germany was collapsing after France was no longer theirs. They lost Poland to Russia. They lost Belgium and the Netherlands. Russia came from the east, Canada, Britain, the U.S. from the West. Russia got to Berlin where Hitler lost hope in his bunker where he committed suicide. All the Axis powers have dissolved in Europe, but in Asia Japan was still going with going with no intention of surrender. So for the US to make them surrender, they dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima on August sixth, nineteen forty five. Three days later they dropped the same bomb but on another city in Nagasaki. Japan then did surrender, causing World War II to come to an end. Thank you for watching this video, and remember to subscribe if you like the channel, like if you like the video, and dislike if you dislike the video, and comment, tell me if you like or don't like this content. See you in the next video. Bye.